Have you ever noticed the narcissist lacks social game? Have you ever noticed that the narcissist is not a comprehensive conversationalist? Have you ever noticed the narcissist is obtuse and lacks sophistication? Have you ever noticed the narcissist does not care about a substantial, meaningful reputation? Have you ever noticed we notice these things after the narcissist does a runner? Have you ever noticed you don't notice these qualities in the narcissist because you're too weak in the knees for them? Have you ever noticed our trauma trains us not to see the socially inept? Our trauma trains us to become weak in the knees for these people types, the narcissist. These are the types who are ignorant, who lack common sense and tact. The narcissist's lack of social intelligence leaves us vulnerable and exposed to our own. Because of their deceitful ways, we appear to be gullible. And we are because they, the socially weak, are our norm. Their social skills are what we hang around. And these social patterns are what we know. We hang around gullible people. Not because we like gullible people, it's just because it's a familiar pattern, not knowing what it is, and so we develop a soft spot for the toxic person. Remember this, the narcissists are the socially inept, we are not. They exploit our vulnerability of treating people in fairness and in kindness equally across the board. Now, just because we are weak need in our social intelligence for the socially inept doesn't mean that we are washouts. Narcissists are both the washout and the sellout. They create in us emotional awkwardness to keep us from distinguishing the sly devil from the cool cat. They are the ones who have betrayed humanity as they have discarded all that makes them human. And they try to get us to do the same through trickery and deceit. Because they are socially awkward, they convince us that we are also socially awkward. And we respond by attaching ourselves to them, believing they know best. Have you ever noticed? the social butterflies? Have you seen how they can chasse around the room in a way that has people take notice? They hold conversations with anybody and everybody. You notice how they talk and you notice how they lead those important conversations and they guide people with their words and style, poise and grace. They posture themselves and others in conversations that are tactfully appropriate. These people have finesse and are considered socially expressive. If you have never noticed the social butterflies, it's time to start noticing. Have you ever noticed the sophisticated? These are the wise people and they have the social circles that hold clout as they know how the game of life is played. Oh yeah. They are suited to many social norms and they can dress up or dress down and intellectually fit anywhere. If you have never noticed the sophisticated, it's time to start noticing. Have you ever noticed the people who form good connections with others? If you have never noticed these conversations, it's time to start noticing. Have you ever noticed those who watch people? They observe people's behaviors as they try to read what people might be thinking from afar. As they try to understand people's emotions, they learn to understand their own. If you've never noticed people watchers, it's time to start noticing. Have you ever noticed the people who care about the positive impressions that they make with authentic behavior? 
if you have never noticed these people, well, it's time to start noticing. Because it's time to recognize you, because it's time to recognize your tribe. These are your kind of people. These are your kin. They're your kindred spirits. Narcissists lack social intelligence. They lack street smarts and common sense. We actually outshine them a billion to one. It's only because we do not know our worth or recognize our worth does the narcissist then get a foothold. Social intelligence is a learned skill. And just because we are weak in this area doesn't mean that we don't have it going on. We are socially intelligent. We just are not yet aware that we are. That awareness actually comes alive when we expose ourselves to socially intelligent environments. So pay attention to the people who are in your corner. Not everyone who huddles there should be there. Socially intelligent people they rally for you. They champion your success and encourage you when you feel small. They prop you up to help you stand tall and stand out as they help you to stand courageous. They want the best for you as they want what is right for you. These are your people because you are one with these people. You only need to develop these skills that these people have. Now, the narcissist, while they use our gullible nature, which is our weakness, and they exploit that weakness and use it against us. The narcissist tries to keep us unaware of our hidden potential inside because we do have the ability to awaken. We can develop our social intelligence all on our own without any help from the narcissist. This is why the narcissist isolates us from socially interacting with others. Because when we learn from others, we grow in the direction that we learn from. For example, if we are taught by confident people how to become confident, we will grow to be confident. We will grow to be confident when implementing the skills that they shared with us. Now, this confidence will become our behavior. Now, narcissists, oh, they can't thrive and survive in a confident environment. Oh, no. So if ever you want a narcissist to leave you alone, if you are ready to meet new, healthy, and safe, exciting people, then it's time to awaken your social intelligence. Social intelligence is developed from your experiences that you have with other people. So pay attention to what others are saying to you and the quality of content that is being expressed. Do these people excite you with their ideas? Do they enhance your value and your awareness about yourself and about life? Do they encourage and inspire you? Have you ever noticed who you are actually interacting with? Are they toxic? And have you ever noticed toxic people do not give you room to socially and maturely and emotionally grow? Oh my gosh. Have you ever noticed it is time to develop your own social intelligence as this allows you to stand strong and empowered against the narcissist? Have you ever noticed your own gullible and vulnerable ways that have you weak in the knees in front of the narcissist? Triggering? Yeah. Develop your social intelligence skills and watch the narcissist do a runner. They will turn their tails and run away from you as they will do everything in their power to avoid you. So how do you become more socially intelligent? Pay attention to positive and empowering people. That's it. Become more assertive in your life. Work on your communication skills. Learn how to be more charismatic. Become an effective listener. 
practice in front of a mirror and emulate behavior and social qualities that you see in benevolent humanitarians who are outspoken, soft-spoken, self-empowering as they are driven and supercharged with sophistication and finesse. Take a look at your own behavior alone and in social settings and learn what is successful for you and stay clear of what is not. Make this a practice as this becomes a behavior that will guide you home as you learn to become large and in charge of your life. Walking in style, mercy, and grace, and love that emulates everything who Jesus is, that emulates a light that people will go after. Go make your day great.